when did you start to get into golf then and, and get serious about that? Yeah, so in um, in high school, we were a K through 12 high school, so we never really had to move uh, different schools or anything like that. Very small. I graduated 65, so very small high school. I don't right. know what you guys graduated, yeah. but uh, I was a, I was a three sport. Like almost 500. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like our town. So um, yeah. oh I, was, I was a three sport athlete and all throughout school. And I wasn't, we didn't have like a junior golf team or anything like that, but I was always kind of played with my dad. Uh, and I played a lot of baseball. So I guess that's kind of where like my swing speed came from a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. So I always played with my dad and my brother. But then when I was got in ninth grade, I really started to really take it seriously. And I started out as like a 20, 25 handicap. Um, and that's just from playing probably from 12 years old to up until high school. And then I would say freshman year of high school, I really grinded. I didn't really work much. I worked at our golf course, which, you know, that was a great summer job for, for a high schooler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I just started grinding, really got, really got <clears throat> decent. I was all self-taught, never had a lesson until college. So I guess I'm very feel type player. Like I said, very um, rural type player. I go to these tournaments and stuff. You see these guys that are just, you know, kind of groomed to play high level golf. And here I come yeah. bumping along. Just <laughs> totally just here I am. But um, <laughs> yeah, just I'd say I started playing golf maybe when I was 10, but really didn't take it serious until I was like 15. Cool. Nice. Yeah. I mean, so, and then you play obviously in college. Where do you, where do you play? I played a school, um, outside of Altoona PA called Mount Aloysius. Uh, okay. it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a mouthful, but, uh, it's just a small <laughs> D it's a small division three school. I, I came out, it's only okay. like an hour from my house. So I came out of high oh, school sweet. with a couple of different offers and, um, some that took me out of state, some that took me, you know, to the very border of the States and stuff. But then the mount was this kind of this place away from home that I always knew about as a kid. And I thought, well, this is, you know, perfect. And there's more to life than just golf. So I went there. Nice. Cool. Very cool. What would you say, like, I don't know. Um, what, was the, what would you say is the part of your game that you, like, favor the most? Oh, I think definitely if I had to pick just, like, an aspect, I'd say my mental aspect. I don't get frustrated whatsoever. You know, a lot of guys... If you knew me, I'm, I'm like six one, one ninety ish. I'm, you know, statistically a pretty big guy, but when I get on the course, I don't hit the ball like a big guy at all. I, I hit it, I hit it pretty short, for a college guy. I probably hit it maybe two forty, two fifty ish, um, drive wise, which isn't far, mm -hmm. at all. But mm -hmm. irons and wedges and putters and stuff, that's that's kind of where I make my bones. So, I think kind of not letting that get to me and just realizing that. Um, like I said, there's more to more than life to, than just golf, and really just mm -hmm. enjoy my four years playing and going from there. Cool. What's kind of like your plan then after college? Like, what's next? Well, it depends. Um, I mean, you know, the the end goal would be really it would be really cool to do Acorn uh, Hills full time. If you would have told me mm -hmm. a year ago that I'd be where I'm at today with it, I would have said, "Oh, you're nuts," you know. <laughs> no time. No pun intended again. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it's it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I always said you know you're nuts. But it really depends. I've worked um, for the past three summers at a bank back home here, doing like uh, almost like marketing, software engineering, um, mm -hmm. kind of kind of doing that. Uh, now I work with a company called Halo. There with like Mark Wahlberg and Jonathan Rumi and stuff. Uh, and I do the same thing for them, like. CRM and data analytics, but I've also have a minor cool. in accounting and do all sorts of things at college, believe it or not, on top of, I don't know why I put this stuff on myself, but on top of um, the company in college golf, I actually work four other jobs. So plus 19 wow. credits. So yeah, so it's when I say my head pops off, it, it, it honestly does sometimes, but I like the, I tutor yeah. a lot too for, for the school. They hired me on as a tutor for um, things like Excel and things like accounting and uh, different things like that. So, it, you know, it's very hard to tell. But then you also got to throw in the personal aspect of it. Is, do I want to leave the area? Do I want to stay remote? And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. it's really just a, just kind of a weird time in my life right now. But it's a good yeah. it's a it's a good problem to have because no matter what decision I think I make is it's going to be the right one. Um, so I can I can barely survive doing 
one job in music like, what the hell? <laughs> and then bro this in like what the hell yeah no oh, it's God. it's crazy yeah. well it started out um so after running on the weather channel our school's marketing team reached out to me and said hey we love what you're doing we love the traction stuff do you think you could help us gain some traction like yeah i can definitely help um at least try to as a, as a college sophomore and so i walked in and took a job with them working like 20 25 hours a week really helped um, them do a lot of things but also i also learned a lot too there's some great people and then from there um the school said hey we really like what you're doing with the marketing team uh we think you'd be a great peer tutor and i said yeah i, I like helping people and there's another 20 hours a week um i tutor and all those things and and then i worked for that company i'm working for now hallow um worked for them 10 hours a week 15 hours a week in school and then uh i did an internship for a nonprofit. It was, it was, uh, that was, I mean, it was, it was very rewarding, but the nonprofit themselves had a department of marketing people and they hired me on as an intern and then the whole department quit. So I was, I was the department, um, which was intense because as an, as an intern, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lady said, well, she said, I don't, she said, we don't have our next person starting until August. She's like, I guess just do what you can. I said, well, that's great to hear. What? But, um, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Yeah, so she's like, I know you have experience with your own with your own marketing and stuff, and I said, yeah, I, I guess that'll work. But so that was 20 hours. So I was, I mean, truthfully, I was putting in 40, 45 hours before any of the Acorn and college golf and classes and stuff. But yeah, and then then put 21 credits on top of that. It's it's busy. But <laughs> I thought. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.